James Gunn has committed one of the greatest sins somebody in Hollywood can commit. And he's been called out for it multiple times over the course of the last... Well, okay, it's really become prominent ever since he was announced to be the head or co-head of DC Studios. Because he committed the sin of casting his wife in projects. <laughs> You guys know where this is going. You know where this is going. You can already taste it. You're just here for the salt. Oh, you are. There's going to be salt in the comments because people are going to say it's not the same. Okay, so what did James Gunn do that's so criminal? He cast his wife in projects. She's in Peacemaker, The Suicide Squad. She's going to be in other projects. She has a small cameo here and there recently. Yeah, he did it. So what? People are very mad. They're mad because he's getting his wife to get paid. Now, this isn't anything new in Hollywood. The director of the Resident Evil movies literally kept turning out terrible Resident Evil movies just because his wife was playing the main character, Alice. You know who else has done such a thing to get his wife paid a lot of money? Zack Snyder. You know, because he puts his wife as a producer and she gets paid as much as he does as a director and they get pretty hefty paydays. So what's the problem here, I ask you? What is the problem? What's the problem with directors casting their brothers, sisters, wives in projects if they work together good? I don't see an issue. I really don't. You know, nobody called out George Lucas for having his ex-wives work on projects. You guys see what I'm saying? And also the fact that James Gunn reveals that some of her appearances weren't even his choice she was asked by the studio and brought into the project because they wanted the connected tissue is more proof that people are just picking and choosing what to be mad at. And the hot topic among DC fans is be angry at James Gunn. Focus all your hatred on him for whatever reason. Even if the guy we support did the same exact thing, even worse, depending on how you look at it, that's okay, as long as James Gunn doesn't get a pass, which I think is stupid. This happens all the time, you know? A lot of people don't call out Chris Nolan. He always brings in literally the same group of actors and they all get paid ridiculous amounts of money putting out Chris Nolan projects. Where's the issue? Where is it? See what I mean?